Hi, I'm Diane and glad to have you join me on PNG Extra. Today on the show, we look at the latest sporting fun to hit for Moresby and we find out what exactly is the June Valley Adventure Club. Before that, we look at one of our local chocolate factories and the goodies they have in store. Chocolate Company has been working and supporting the local cocoa growers in PNG to make sure that only the best cocoa beans are grown in the fertile coastal plains of PNG. All the cocoa beans are collected right across PNG from plantations in New Britain, Bougainville, East and West Sepik, Kokoda, Medeng, and Morobe. When the cocoa beans reach the factory, they are carefully inspected by the quality assurance team before being transferred from a bucket elevator into the roaster. The beans are roasted for about an hour before being cooled and transferred to a winoa. The winnowing process breaks the roasted cocoa beans, leaving only the rich cocoa nibs behind. Then the nibs are transferred to a pin mill which further breaks the nibs before being passed to a raw refiner to produce a cocoa paste. The cocoa paste are then pumped into a bowl mill which over time produces a fine cocoa mess or cocoa liquor. It is then stored in a temperature control tank before being pumped into a mixer to make chocolate. At this stage, additional ingredients such as sugar, vanilla and in case of milk chocolate, milk are added. It is then blended and forms a thick paste. The paste is then transferred to a refiner which then turns the chocolate paste into fine powder again. The powder is now being passed by conveyors where the powder is turned back into liquid. Again, at this stage, the assurance team ensures that the chocolate is of right consistency. Then it is transferred from the contours to the chocolate tanks. From there, it is tempered and later piped into chocolate molds. When the molds are filled, it is then vibrated and cooled. At this process, if chocolate bars are not in required shapes, they are manually removed and put into a bin for reprocessing. After the cooling process, the chocolate then goes through a horizontal cold wrapping machine. And this is the last and final stage, the wrapping and the packaging of the chocolates. The chocolate comes in three types, the dark Ovechis, Lovina Milk Chocolate and Queen Emma Gold. Queen Emma Chocolate Company also do chocolate chips and buttons for commercial clients like hotels. And this is how chocolates are made at Queen Emma Chocolate Company. A mouth watering story there. Next we hit the bowling alley. Let's join James Leigh for that story. Ten pin bowling. It's a fun and cool way to let loose and spend time with friends. Bowling has been around longer than most people may think. In fact, archaeologists have evidence of bowling type games that date back 5,000 years ago. That makes bowling one of the oldest sports, dating back to the time of the Egyptians.
10-pin bowling actually sprung out from 9-pin bowling, a popular European sport. It spread to America and it was favored by lots of gamblers. Now, this was the reason why a law was passed that prohibited anyone from owning and ultimately playing 9-pin bowling. But that didn't stop the gamblers. You see, they challenged the law and simply changed the rules by adding one more pin. It was technically legal because the law only banned 9-pin bowling and 10-pin basically never existed, leaving what we know and play today as 10-pin bowling. It's never been played in PNG before, but it's recently just been introduced and by the looks of things, it's gaining a lot of momentum. I get customers from all walks of life, all age groups. I just had two um, elderly, well, to be polite, elderly ladies just in here, reminiscing about their good old days when they used to do bowling and how, how fortunate it is that they feel that they can ac actually do it here now in PNG. Everybody is just taken to, to our 10 pin bowling over here and everyone's just really enjoying themselves. This is Joe Chan. He's the manager at the Lanes 10-pin bowling at the Lamana Hotel, and he's a pretty good bowler too. Bowling is actually really easy. The aim of the game is to simply knock all 10 pins down. So if you're in Port Moresby and you're interested, you can find the Lanes 10-pin bowling at Lamana. And if you're 13 and over, 40 Kina will get you a game. And if you're a 12V and under, it's half that price. Coming up, afternoon tea.